Worldwide family, uh, here, here I am, episode five, Jimmy Flips, at it again, man. I have made it from the last episode down to Crystal Beach. I've tried this video a couple different times in a couple different ways, and I really haven't been happy with any of them. Uh, that being said, uh, I have learned after being up almost all night with a whole bunch of coffee, it's not a good idea to put you in my hand and walk around with you, because that is nauseous to see. Uh, anyway, so made it here safe and sound. A uh, couple hiccups, uh, windshield wipers and the rain. Had to stop at O'Reilly's, ended up taking a nap at O'Reilly's because I couldn't find a hotel. Uh, anyway, I'm here. I ate at a uh, pretty decent restaurant, had a fat, fat plate of shrimp, and um, it was good. It was good. Got an early check in here. Uh, this place is, um, it's actually everything that the pictures uh, said it would be. I, um, I think I called it a room on the last visit. It's really a uh, two bedroom, two bath house on stilts. Uh, most of the places in this area uh, are on stilts. I think it's really cool. It's the first house on stilts I've been in, uh, but pretty decent. Uh, the title of this video is, uh, Our Return's Gonna Kill Me. Do returns kill you? It's a fact of doing business, right? Uh, are they going to kill me? Is it um, is it something that's detrimental? I mean, obviously, we've got to factor uh, the cost of those returns into uh, doing business, but ultimately, it is doing business. Uh, currently, I'm at a little bit less than one percent return rate. <laughs> no, no, it's not going to kill me at all. Uh, and I don't think it should you and uh, comment in the um, uh, comment section what uh, what your current percentage is and what you do to combat that uh, whether it be techniques with um, uh, accurate listings or um, offering partial returns uh, things uh, of that nature I'm just curious to see uh, how y'all handle them and what your percentage rates are that being said uh, for people that have been reselling for a while, I find the best mode ultimately is to close my eyes. I heard this and I'm stealing it. It's mine now, uh, and I'm going to give it to you. So that means it's yours after uh, after I, I I do give it to you. But I just uh, when I have a return, I close my eyes. No matter how bad it hurts, I hit the return button. Boom, I'm done. Uh, other than that, I still have to make money, so uh, I have to take those things into consideration. Not only time, uh, efforts, resources, things like that. Uh, if that were the end of the video, it would be a really short video. What are we, two minutes in? Uh, so, uh, I figured I would give you some of the um, uh, more humorous or more recent uh, returns that I've had. I, um, let me see, you know, I get that some brands fit differently than others and people say that hey you know I tried this when I'm normally this and it just doesn't fit can I bring it back you know or can I send it back whatever uh, and uh, absolutely I'm good with that uh, it, I'm, I'm not great with it but I'm good with it it's part of life I know I am currently in a uh, pair of shoes that are fitting tighter than I would like so so what uh, I, I get why people return them uh, now that being said, uh, let's see, the first one, uh, over and above the normal, oh, hey, it, it, it's the wrong size, of, or, you know, uh, one, you sent me the wrong product, which has happened one time, uh, that's easy to make right, you send them the right product, or, or you know, a 3030 normally fits, uh, I did have a ring one time that she said, uh, I was a size 7 last time I tried a ring. Now it won't even fit over my, my, my smallest knuckle, so apparently she gained a little bit of weight and uh, didn't quite take that into consideration. That, uh, that kind of hurts. Especially when you think that money's yours and then, you know, two weeks later you've got to give it back. Uh, the shipping on a ring doesn't really cost that much. The insurance on it's not that much, uh, especially uh, in regards to uh, how much the rings cost. So, uh, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Get your product back, you're out, you know, 10, 15 bucks, right, at the most. Uh, probably less than 10. Uh, the, one of the funnier ones I got, uh, I believe, was a um, sports cup a, um, for, you know, a male, uh, for, for a child, a, a sports cup, a, a 
male sports cup, you know, a, um, a cup, right? Uh, to cover his equipment. It was a size small, and God bless her heart, and I guess ultimately his. Uh, she put in a return because the size small cup was... <laughs> it's not funny. Uh, the size small cup was uh, too big. I mean, you know, ultimately, hopefully, hopefully he'll grow into it, right? Uh, but uh, I definitely uh, can understand how that could be a problem. Uh, she wanted to send it back to me after he had tried it on. Uh, ultimately, I just went ahead and refunded the money and said, no, you know what, you, you can keep that one. Uh, I'm good on this side. I don't need that back in, uh, in my place. Uh, one of the more frustrating ones was uh, a lady. She said, "You know, normally she writes this on the uh, on a message. She doesn't she doesn't prompt for a return. She sends me a message that says, hey, normally I'm a size nine, but these shoes are yours. I like them so much. They look so sweet. They're a pair of 15, almost 20 year old Adidas uh, uh, skater shoes, uh, chocolate brown with pink uh, insoles, pink uh, lacings." And uh, she said, you know, they're so sweet, I wanted them. I'm normally a size 9. Now, sometimes I can fit into a size 10. But your size 11s, I just had to have. And then, when they got here and I tried them on, guess what? They're too big. So I need to send them back because um, they're, they're too big for me. Uh... It was uh, within a day or so of the uh, protective cup uh, fiasco, so uh, I was a little frustrated because uh, my 1% will, will uh, first, it will, you know, I'll go through 200 sales and not have anything, and then at about 250, boom, 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 I get like three, and, and you know, like in one week, they're, they're like, they come in threes or something, I don't know, but anyway, so I, I write her back, I said, so let me understand or let, let me uh, uh, make sure that I understand uh, your situation. You intentionally ordered a pair of shoes that were two sizes too big uh, and had me ship them out, which cost $10 shipping and handling, which I put in there. And in reality, you know as a reseller, it costs more than that to send an adult pair of shoes, more like twelve eighty or whatever, but $10 is easy to understand, so I put $10. Maybe I should start putting 15, who knows? I put 10. Uh, so anyway, I said, you know, so I, I, I paid the 10 to ship them out, and now you want to return them, and I am a top-rated seller, so I do easy returns, I pay for shipping back. So now i got to pay 10 back, again, not 10, 12, uh, on a $40 pair of shoes. I said, so if, that, if I'm understanding correctly that you intentionally uh, bought a, a pair of shoes that's too big, uh, and now want to return them because they are in fact too big, then please go ahead and initiate a return, and I'll be happy to do just that. Well, I, apparently she caught my tone, despite the fact that it was on text, uh, that I was kind of getting snotty. I think I had right to, but customer service being what it is, uh, you know, people get so return happy, it's so convenient for them as a consumer that they don't even think about it, and Everybody just says, okay, you want to return it? Great. Uh, and uh, anyway, she could tell I was a little snotty. And she could tell that I really had a valid point, that I had spent uh, $10 shipping it down there, $10 shipping it back on a $40 pair of shoes. Obviously, I wasn't making any more than, uh, you know, all the profit had been eaten up by, by her, um, you know, not caring when she ordered. And... Uh, about a week goes by, whatever. I don't hear anything. She doesn't initiate a return. I think, well, maybe I've gotten through to her and she's just going to put some insoles in them or something. She's going to wear them. But about a week and a half later, I get them back on her dime. So without her asking, without anything, as soon as I get the shoes back, I open them up. I say, oh, I know what these are. So I instantly put in a return. So be it full money back. Just boom, take it, be gone. Uh, she hits me up later that night and says, hey, I want to make sure you got the shoes. I'll show them to be delivered. I said, yeah, I did. Matter of fact, I've already put in a return if, um, or a refund, excuse me. 
if you haven't got it back yet, it's because it's still processing. By morning, you should have it. She said, okay, thank you. It was done. Uh, but that was one of the most idiotic ones. Uh, the reason why I posted this video is I uh, got another one that got delivered to the house today. Uh, the description, it was a herb garden, a countertop herb garden uh, with seeds and hydroponic or whatever for, for like, you know, parsley and cilantro and basil and all that stuff. Uh, and I put, you know, exactly the, the manufacturer listing of, you know, it's, uh, and I, I'm paraphrasing and I don't know the numbers, but, you know, it's 18 by 24 and it holds, you know, eight different seeds uh, units and or cells or whatever, you know, and and you can expect this and that and everything, all the specifications. Uh, and obviously the customer just didn't read it because on day 29 of, of the 30 day return policy, they sent it back and said, hey, it uh, turns out to be too small and I didn't like it. You know, there's nothing else that I could have done to eliminate that one, but yet I'm out, you know, $15, $30 on an $80 product, which in the end of it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, except those prices have to be passed on to the consumers. Uh, and then I get it back, and it's been used and opened and torn apart, and uh, there's no way that I could ever sell it as new again, so I'm out the money. Either that or for the first time, I am going to try with eBay what they suggested and offer a partial return. Now, I hear under those circumstances, when it's no longer new, not only do I have the right to do it, uh, but they basically, eBay, covers the other half of it. You know, so it's like a buyer protection, seller protection kind of deal. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'll let you know how it is. Uh, but as far as uh, the place, I am on the second story right now. Um, I have a really cool picnic area that I'm sure over the next week I will show y'all. But I'm upstairs right now, so let me show you around. I tried without um, success to... Oh, let me just keep you like that. Where's the... There we go. I tried uh, without success to be able to flip the camera around. I already know that I can't do that. Uh, so I will start... We're going to walk, so don't get nauseous. I'll try to move slow and steady. I'm trying to learn about this camera stuff. Uh, this is the upstairs deck. Uh, first, I've got a, let's see, how do we do that? Nice little picnic table. That goes downstairs to the downstairs. I don't know how the light source is working, but anyway, down underneath the house, is a cool little picnic table area. Uh, then I have a nice little sitting area here. The beach, although you probably can't see it from here. It stopped raining day one at the beach and it's raining. It's right down at the end of the street. I thought I was more on third row uh, or second row where I could still see the beach. I had intentionally or had uh, ultimately wanted to be on the first row, but as I was looking at the uh, listings, uh, they started disappearing. The availability of them uh, was going away for this trip. I booked it about a month or so out. Uh, decent sized little TV. You got a breakfast area back there, or brunch area, whatever. I guess it could be dinner and everything. A little love seat, full kitchen, couch. Uh, this is a decent looking living room. I think I called it a room yesterday, but I, it, it's a house. I mean, it's a two bedroom, two bath house. Uh, nice little island. Let me slow down. I've had too much coffee. Y'all bear with me. Nice little island and full cabinets and countertops. Pretty cool. Uh, I got in here and, oh, I better not catch it on the camera side. Uh, I, I got in here. And they um, had given me a care package. Uh, it had a couple little Blue Wave vacation rentals. And they're not paying me a dime. I just think that's a cool place. A uh, couple little koozies. Nice little bag. They spent some money on this shit. I mean, on this stuff. Excuse me. Uh, Y'all bear with me. I'm still learning how to curtail my language. Uh, but I'm going to be real at the same time. A frisbee in case I get bored. Nice little souvenirs. 
uh, heads up blue wave rentals would have been really cool if you put uh, Crystal Beach on there so uh, and uh, I got a cool little cool little beach ball too mm -hmm. matches my shirt I didn't plan that uh, they also did an, oh they gave me two other things one of them is super cool and the other one doesn't apply to me they had no idea they don't know me from Adam but these what do you think hold on some blue wave rentals vacation rentals glasses oh yeah they're me right I think so and then they were really cool if I drank which I don't this would be neat uh, again I don't now they did give me a sweet little postcard of the area really decent so uh, they had told me when I'd gotten this place that it slept six uh, I figured that was two on the couch but in reality this is the first bedroom cool little TV full-size bed and then two bunk beds so there's four I guess now uh, I hear that my wife actually may have been able to get free what's in here let's see oh just a little a little nothing Boom. be our guest be our guest put our service to the test moving along okay. uh, Wash and dryer, stackables. Don't know that. I, I mean, if you didn't bring enough clothes, I guess. Uh, one bathroom. This is mine. Possibly my wife's if she decides to show up. Pretty decent. Yeah, I like it. And I've always liked these little elevated, I think it gives dementia. Or maybe I'm getting dementia. I don't know. Is that a synonym? Antonym? I don't know. Some language person. Feel free to comment at my uh, ignorance and my goofiness uh, decent little not horribly small but uh, not horribly big either uh, little bathroom area so pretty decent and then a full size not full size but I mean decent size closet so shout out to oh shoot I forget blue wave rentals who isn't paying me a dime that's got a really cool place should you be in this area uh, they have a decent product and they say if you book with them directly uh, you get 15% off and who knows maybe they'll give me something if y'all tell them that I sent you so Jimmy Flips that's not my real name so they won't know me don't even mention my name just book your vacation uh, until next time our returns Gonna kill me, gonna kill you. <laughs> Not a chance. Uh, feel free in the comments to um, put your most funniest return ever. All right, until next time, I will see you later. All right.